Before starting the repair, double check the device is powered off. Place the screen side of the device on the hitting pad. The hitting pad knows the tissue of tape surrounding the screen, so that the screen can be safely removed without damaging it. After using the hitting pad, the device will be around 50 to 60 degrees. Using a 0.8mm star-shaped driver, remove both bottom screws. Using the suction cup, gently lift the screen. And make a few drops of alcohol on the thin metal. Hold the thin metal at 90 degrees to prevent making scratches on the frame. Gently insert it and lift the bottom side of the screen. Hold the gap and use the pry stick to unhook the connected part to prevent scratches on the frame. While lifting the screen, make sure to hold the pry stick shortly to prevent damaging the device. Using the open gap, gently push the screen. Unlike the previous version, the screen and the ear speaker cables are located on the left hand side of the screen, so make sure not to insert the pry stick too deeply while lifting the left side. Same concept as the opposite side. Be careful when you lift the top of the screen because it has a face ID module that includes the dot projector. Make sure you do not put the pry stick deeply when you lift the top of the screen. Gently lift the screen from right to left. Make sure the screen does not go over 100 degrees. Check the location of the battery. We'll be removing these two screws first and remove the other four screws after. Using the tri-wing driver, gently remove two screws on the battery shield and remove the shield to the side. The battery cable is connected here. Using the pry stick, gently disconnect the battery cable from the upper right side. And gently disconnect two screen cables. Unscrew four screws using the tri-wing driver. and gently lift the shield from top to bottom. Be careful that the lower right part of the shield has a ring that connects to the shield next to it. Gently disconnect the ear speaker plus light sensor cable. Finally, we have removed the screen from the device. There are a total of four screws that are holding the ear speaker plus light sensor cable. Gently unscrew the screws using the cross-shaped driver and driving driver. Gently lift the ear speaker from top to bottom and check every function. Hold the ear speaker with your finger and gently place it on top of the hitting pad. Wait for 30 seconds to melt the tissue. Add one or two drops of alcohol to the metal spooger and gently insert the two from the bottom side. Melt the tissue starting from the microphone
light sensor. Light sensor cable. And proximately sensor fluid luminator. Finally, we have removed the ear speaker plus light sensor cable from the screen. This is the microphone, fluid luminator, proximately sensor, and light sensor. Double check every sensor location. Gently place the microphone and the proximately sensor first. And gently install the light sensor. Hold the light sensor using your left index finger and gently place the ear speaker. Screw in four screws using the tri-wing driver. And cross-shaped driver. Make sure not to forget to attach the adhesive tape before connecting the screen cables. Gently connect the ear speaker plus light sensor cable. And gently connect the screen cables. Finally, connect the battery cable. When inserting the shield, make sure to insert it in from the bottom ring. Gently screw in the four screws on the shield. And place the battery shield. And screw in two screws. Towards the end of the repair, we must not forget to attach the Happy Till Warranty Shield. Place the screen parallel and gently close it from the top side. Make sure to check the screen cable before closing it. Finally, screw in two bottom screws and the repair is completed.
Thank you for your attention.